time for morning movers. I loved it yesterday with the markets uh, open. Day two with Scarlett Fu. Day two, things are getting back to normal. Pfizer reporting results this morning, and it said that uh, it's set in place a $10 billion share buyback program. That's, of course, intended to boost its earnings per share, but it did cut the top end of its full year sales forecast. It's now looking for as much as $59 billion versus the earlier expectation of up to $60 billion. Third quarter EPS matched analyst estimates. Pfizer was moving down earlier, but it looks like it's unchanged right now. Sarah. Well, I'm watching Visa. This is one to watch the world's biggest payment network that actually posted better results for the quarter, beating analyst estimates. Net income, it turns out, for three months in its fiscal fourth quarter, climbed 89%. And Visa shares are trading sharply higher up. Oh. Now unchanged, they were higher in the pre-market after uh, this up, beat down, up, by down. Visa, and it's helped a lot by what's going on in the economy. Better consumer spending, plastic, the use of plastic, <laughs> right? All right, let's talk about Barrick Gold, which is moving firmly to the downside in early trading right now, down 1.7 percent at 39.80 cents a share. The biggest gold producer here, seeing third quarter profit and sales missed analyst estimates. Mining costs rose more than expected. The third quarter EPS, Sarah, 85 cents. Analysts were we're looking for 99 cents. All right, another one to watch. Tom Rim, Research in Motion, testing out its new BlackBerry. Its shares are down in the pre-market, but yesterday it climbed the most in almost a month as people, wireless carriers, started testing this new BlackBerry 10 phone worldwide. That is going to be Rim's next hope to try to salvage the BlackBerry brand. The last great hope for I've Rim. I've got the skepticism radar up on that. I got, I got the Palm Trio in my kitchen. The palm tree, the palm tree, yes. right? It's a paperweight. <laughs> I just, it's, it's a humility thing. It's like, and there's a point where everything just sort of falls apart. Every tech CEO technology. should have one of those on their kitchen counter, just as a reminder. Just as a reminder, you know, the forget about the enthusiasm yeah. of the moment.